Hi everyone, it's Sandy, and this is my first short tape video. Today I'm going to show you how to customize your workspace in the Make the Cut software. Now I'm not actually going to um, tell you exactly what all of these um, bars are going to actually do, these toolbars do. Those will be in later videos, but I just want to show you how you can actually customize the mat or, or your workspace. Um, if you look under your view on your um, file menu bar, you'll see that you can see all the different toolbars that you can place on your mat or if they're already checked and you don't want them on there all you've got to do is click off of it notice how the tab bar is gone click back on it and I have it so it's up to you which bars that you want on your uh, desktop now uh, what I'm going to show you is how you can move these around if you'll notice over here to the right I'm going to show you on my main and to move any of these boxes once you pull them up all you're going to do is use your um, left button on your mouse, click on the blue title bar, and you can move it anywhere that you want it to be. Um, you can have it as a floating toolbar. Where I have mine on the right side of my screen, I can actually put it over here and place it on the left side of the screen. So if you work better on that side of the screen, place it there. Um, uh, now, notice how when I did move this, the layer properties box covers the main box what you can do on that to what you want to do to size it is if you see the white arrow for my cursor right now I'm going to move that up to the top of the layer box where now I have a black double arrow for the cursor all you do on that is just again use your left button on your mouse and then you just drag it down to the um, location that you want it to be on your desktop. So again, that's how you adjust that. If um, you want to move these bars up here, for instance, your Shape Magic Toolbar, if you look to the left side of the bar itself, there's kind of like a little line there. If you use your left mouse button, click on it, and you can drag it and you can adjust it to wherever you need as well. So um, that makes it easier. You can place it. Again, same thing with the toolbar. The actual toolbar has that line on it. You can drag it, you can move it over, you can adjust it to wherever you want it to be. Your mat size, um, if you'll click on your main properties box, and if you'll notice the size of your mats, you have your three choices of the mats that come with a Cricut, the six by 12, the 12 by 12, and the 24 by 12 mat. Again, whatever size mat that you're using in your Cricut, all you do is click on that and it'll it makes that uh, mat over here in your desktop. That's the one that's going to show that you're working with. On the main properties box also there is a zoom in and out. You just do the slider across it to zoom in and out. You can also, let me put my uh, toolbar, let me find, oh I moved it down, sorry. Um, if you look on your toolbar here, there's a plus a magnifying glass with a plus sign in it and a magnifying glass with a minus sign that also is your zoom so you can actually use your toolbar to go in and out on that um, if you'll notice again on the visual mat you have a carrot size right now my carrot size is uh, placed at 2.50 what that means is whenever I put an image on my mat it's going to come out uh, on my mat and be placed on my mat at two and a half inches in height so again, you have the choice of changing that. All you do is click on your arrows. Um, and there's also a theme on here. The theme allows you to change the color of your mat. You can change it from black and white to blue to pink to grayscale to the traditional green Cricut. Now usually when I'm working on a file, I'll use the traditional green Cricut um, just because I can see all of the layers. But once I'm done, I like to switch it over to black and white because the color does show up a lot better. But working on black and white, a lot of times when you're breaking your images, a lot of that gets hidden behind the black and it's a little hard to see. So I really like um, using the, either the other colors, but coming back to that black and white when I'm finished. So now that you have your desktop set up the way that you like it, um, on the main property box, again under the visual mat tab, there is a um, button that you're going to want to check and it says use these settings on every new project so what you'll do is you'll click on that and then once you close and exit out of make the cut let me close some of the things I was working on sorry about that and you open make the cut back up 
there's your settings. They're saved exactly how you placed them when you closed your um, file when you were finished for the day. So anyway, um, that's how you actually customize your mat and you'll want to do it to a way that's your preference and makes it easier for use um, when you're designing. I hope you have found this tutorial helpful. Check out my blog for other videos and written tutorials for the Make the Cut software and have a great day. Thank you.